Kaltcha Bas Shalom, my name is Smidar Shefi and I was born in Israel. And I'd like to welcome you to the first art intervention in Beit Bialik, uh, which is called To Eternity's End Beyond the Sea. That's a quote from a song by Chaim Nachman Bialik. He's the Israeli national poet, and it was written in 1905. Uh, we're standing here next to the tea table, and it's a beautiful tea table. And uh, the intervention is a piece by a young artist called Chaya Rokin. Uh, as you can see, it's basically bread and a dried banana, but it comes out here like some kind of pirate ship inside this very bourgeoisie, beautiful table, giving it some notion of what we would say are the things that are behind this beautiful house. The house was built in 1926, and all the pieces that are here in the, in the um, exhibition are things that the contemporary art that we put inside the exhibition are rather new, mainly from 2011 and further. In this room, we have pieces by the same artist, by Chaya Rokin. As you see here on the mantelpiece, we put these um, two, I'd say, overflowing with gold and with polyurethane, two very different kind of materials. Uh, these goblets, these wine goblets, next to this, uh, you know, next to another uh, picture by her, which is a golden boat. Uh, Bialy, quite a lot of his poetry had to do with transitions, with moving from place to place, going from Europe to the East. And the house, in, in many ways, embodies this, no, this question of East and West. Uh, Bialy, just to mention it, he was the big translator of the poets from uh, the Iberian half of the island. And here, what we did was actually show things that, had, that could have been in his art collection had Bialik been living today. Uh, the other pieces that you see in this room are all pieces originally from the 1920s and 1930s. <laughs> Now we are in Bialik's library, it's based at the, the heart of the house, this is where he wrote, this is where he worked, this is where he thought. The intervention here is actually like a group of birds that landed all around the room. The birds are by Tzibi Geva, he's an artist that's been dealing with uh, birds. All the birds are birds that are very typical to the Israeli landscape. And they're all sitting inside this room as if they landed here to think together with Bialik. Now Bialik, in his poetry, uh, we were talking about that before, that he was dealing a lot with transition. Birds were the birds, the songbirds that came from the Promised Land. Birds were the birds that came and told him about the way that you could go to other places. They had a very special place in his poetry, and I think this definitely echoes it. Mira Doni's work, which is uh, from metal and is cut with laser, gives us a kind of cityscape. We were thinking of Bialik arriving from Europe, he's originally from Odessa, and coming to Palestine in 24. The first site that he saw was Jaffa, and this is, it's, it's 
not Jaffa, it's some kind of uh, you know, generic city in the East. But I was thinking of it as a kind of Jaffa when you see when you become a velvety black and you're on a ship, and that could be what you saw. On the other hand, here we have uh, Hassan Bek, which was built, it's a mosque that was built in Tel Aviv just a year before Bialik came. And it was actually it actually changed the scene, the the sky scrape, the sky scene of the city at the time, um, and it was this is exactly the point where Jaffa and Tel Aviv meet. Uh, the last piece is actually again, as I was saying, we were trying to think what could have been. This is a, it's called Cathedral. Neil and Doni made it not for here, but it really goes so well inside. The installation was really easy here because we thought it looked great. And, you know, Tel Aviv doesn't have a cathedral, unlike, I think, more or less every European city or a city in the West, and Israel likes to think of itself as the West, and Bialik definitely thought of himself as a person from the West, has a cathedral, so, you know, this is the cathedral that should have, or could have been here, perhaps. Um, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this uh, short tour, and I'd like to invite you to visit the Bialik House. It's really a beautiful edifice. And uh, the exhibition is open until March 2nd. It's an art intervention, and you can come and see how these things were together. I think it's quite fascinating. Thank you.